The banks of the Thames are clouded. The ancient porches of Albion are darkened. They are drawn through unbounded space, scattered upon the void in incoherent despair. Cambridge and Oxford and London are driven among the starry wheels, rent away and dissipated in chasms and abysses of sorrow, enlarged without dimension. Terrible. Albion's mountains run with blood. The cries of war and of tumult resound into the unbounded night. Every human perfection of mountain and river and city are small and withered and dark. The shuttles of death sing in the sky to Islington and Pancras. I behold London, a human, awful wonder of God. He says, return, Albion, return, I give myself for thee. My streets are my ideas of imagination. Awake, Albion, awake, and let us wake up together. My houses are thoughts, my inhabitants, affections. The children of my thoughts walking within my blood vessels, shut from my nervous system, which sleeps upon the verge of Beulah in dreams of darkness while my vegetating blood, in veiny pipes, rolls dreadful through the furnaces of loss and the mills of Satan. So spoke London, immortal guardian. But Albion is cast forth to the potter, his children to the builders, to build Babylon, because they have forsaken Jerusalem. The walls of Babylon are souls of men, her gates the groans of nations. Her towers are the miseries of once happy families. Her streets are paved with destruction, her houses built with death, her palaces with hell and the grave, her synagogues with torments of ever-hardening despair, squared and polished with cruel skill. Vala would never have sought and loved Albion if she had not sought to destroy Jerusalem. Such is that false and generating love, a pretense of love to destroy love cruel hypocrisy, unlike the lovely delusions of Beulah, and cruel forms, unlike the merciful forms of Beulah's night. They know not why they love, nor wherefore they sicken and die, calling that holy love, which is envy, revenge, and cruelty. I behold Babylon in the opening streets of London, I behold Jerusalem in ruins, wandering about from house to house. This I behold, the shudderings of death attends my steps. I walk up and down in six thousand years, their events are present before me. Albion is sick, said every valley, every mournful hill and every river. Our brother Albion is sick to death. He hath leagued himself with robbers. He hath studied the arts of unbelief. Envy hovers over him. His friends are his abhorrence. Those who give their lives for him are despised. Those who devour his soul are taken into his bosom. To destroy his emanations is their intention. I saw disease forming a body of death around the Lamb of God to destroy Jerusalem and to devour the body of Albion by war and stratagem to win the labour of the husbandman. Awkwardness armed in steel, folly in a helmet of gold, weakness with horns and talons, ignorance with a ravening beak. Every emanative joy forbidden as a crime, and the emanations buried alive in the earth with pomp of religion. 
inspiration denied, genius forbidden by laws of punishment. I saw terrified. I took the sighs and tears and bitter groans. I lifted them into my furnaces to form the spiritual sword that lays open the hidden heart. I drew forth the pang of sorrow, red hot. I worked it on my resolute anvil. I wander through each chartered street near where the Chartered Thames does flow and mark in every face I meet marks of weakness, marks of woe. In every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every ban, the mind-forged manacles I hear. How the chimney sweepers cry, every blackening church appalls, and the hapless soldier's sigh runs in blood down palace walls. But most through midnight streets I hear how the youthful harlots curse, blasts the newborn infant's tear, and blights with plagues the marriage hearse. I write in South Moulton Street what I both see and hear in regions of humanity in London's opening streets. Trembling I sit day and night. My friends are astonished at me, yet they forgive my wanderings. I rest not from my great task to open the eternal worlds, to open the immortal eyes of man inwards into the worlds of thought, into eternity ever expanding into the bosom of God, the human imagination. Highgate's Heights and Hampstead's, to Poplar, Hackney and Bow, to Islington and Paddington, and the brook of Albion River. We builded Jerusalem as a city and a temple. From Lambeth we began our foundations. Lovely Lambeth. O oh, lovely hills of Camberwell, we shall behold you no more in glory and pride. For Jerusalem lies in ruins, and the furnaces of loss are builded there. You are now shrunk up to a narrow rock in the midst of the sea. Albion moved upon the rock. He opened his eyelids in pain. He saw England. Do I sleep amidst danger to friends? All my cities and counties, do you sleep? Rouse up. Rouse up. identified, even tree, metal, earth and stone, all human forms identified, living, going forth and returning, wearied, into the planetary lives of years, months, days and hours, reposing and then awakening into his bosom in the life of immortality. the name of their emanations. They are named Jerusalem. Mm. 